Hello everyone, my name is Yining. I am an adjunct professor at New York University. I work on MF5.js, a friendly machine learning JavaScript library. In this talk, I will make a brief introduction to MF5.js, how it's built, and discuss some challenges in the development process. Slide two. MFRJS aims to make machine learning more approachable to a broad audience of artists, designers, creative coders, and students. The library provides access to machine learning algorithms and models in the browser, building on top of TensorFlow.js with no other external dependencies. MFRJS is inspired by processing MP5.js whose goal is to empower people of all interests and backgrounds to learn how to program and make creative work with code. However, to get started with machine learning, one needs advanced understanding of math and programming. And we'd like to make this process easier so that machine learning can be something that everyone can learn, understand, and explore freely. Slide three, what does MFIJS do? It provides immediate access to pre-trained models in the browser, and we can also build and train our own neural networks in the browser from scratch. Slide four, here is an example of MobileNet object detection model running in the browser with just a few lines of code. Slide five, here is an example of running PostNet to detect human poses. MFIGS also provides friendly API to get access to more human-readable results and draw those results on the canvas with, for example, P5GS. Slide 6. This is an example of running style transfer model with your webcam in real time. Slide 7. Besides running pre-trained models, we can also create our own neural networks with MFIGS. This is a demo of how we can create a neural network that cl uh, classifies RGB values into common color names. With MFIGS, we can load the data, create model, train it, and run the model. With the debug mode enabled, MFIGS can also visualize the training progress on the right-hand side. It helps us to debug and improve our neural network. Slide eight. Here is a collection of all the models and methods that MFIGS provides. You can learn more about them on the MFI website. MFI has a wide collection of image, sound, and text-based models with a variety of applications such as detecting objects, human bodies, uh, hand poses and faces, generating text, images and drawings, implementing image translations, classifying audios, detecting pitch, and uh, analyzing words and uh, sentences. MFIGS also provides neural network feature extractor, KN classifier, and k-means as helper uh, functions. Slide 9. How do we use MFIGS? Slide 10. We can run a model in the browser with MFIGS in three simple steps. First, create a model. Secondly, ask the model to classify or predict something based on an input like an image or text. And step three, getting the results. It also has great integration with P5.js, a JavaScript library for creating graphics and animations in the browser, which makes it easier to get inputs from webcam or microphones, and also to show the output with canvas, image, or audio. Slide 11, how is MFI.js built? Slide 12. Besides the core library, the ML5 project also includes examples, documentations, guides for training and data collection, learning materials for workshops and courses. Slide 13. ML5.js extends the functionality of 
TFGS. It uses TFGS models, data API, layer API, and the VASE API. Under the hood, it utilizes the CPU, WebGL, or WebAssembly in the browser. MFIJS provides a high-level and beginner-friendly API to users. Slide 14. Web applications are very accessible. There are a lot of web applications made by the MFIJS community. Here are a few examples. A whack and roll game that you can play with your webcam, a flying game where you can control your characters with your voice, and interactive story reading experiments that uses your voice as input to generate stories and drawings. There are many more applications built with MFIJS that you can find at its uh, community page. People find the low effort in using existing browser API desirable. For example, using webcam and microphones with the ability of rendering outputs easily to image, canvas, audio, or text elements on the DOM. So they are perfect for creative projects. Slide 15. Web, webcam, video, audio, and mouse interactions are often used as input to models, and the conversion between those formats is often a multi-step process. Therefore, having native support for converting browser I.O. streams to model inputs and vice versa would be very helpful. For example, TensorFlow.js models support HTML video or image elements as model inputs. Slide 16. In the progress of porting models into MFIJS, the first thing to consider is the model size. It needs to be small enough so we can load it into the browser. Secondly, to support real-time interaction in the browser, the model needs to have low latency. The last thing is the model format. Uh, it should be portable to the web. Here is a common workflow of porting a pre-trained model into MFIJS. A model from a machine machine learning research paper might be implemented in other frameworks like PyTorch. So first we need to implement the model in TensorFlow and train the model. Then we convert the model into TFGS format with the TFGS converter. And lastly, port it into MFIJS to provide high-level API to users. Here, the first step, which is implementing the model in TensorFlow and train it, is the most time-consuming step, and uh, not all the operations are supported between different machine learning frameworks. Therefore, it will be very helpful to have a standard model format for the web or have a tool that can make this step easier. Onyx project is making the conversion between different machine learning frameworks easier. Um, step 17. Here are some more links about MFIGS. That's all for me. Uh, thank you so much for watching.